Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Adventure Built. My name is Kelly. I'm Trevor. And today we have something super special for you guys. We're out here at Four Wheeler Adventure Expo in Costa Mesa, California. We are gonna be showing you guys some of the coolest, newest, awesomest, badassest. That's, a, that's word. a word. That's a word. <laughs> that the Overland community has to date. We're gonna be checking out vendors. We're gonna be looking at the movies, everything that the show has to offer, and we're gonna take you along for the ride. Yep, so stay tuned. What's going on everybody? We are at the Wilco booth. We have a very cool, what, are, what would you uh, call this? This is our Hitchgate uh, tire carrier. This one's the Hitchgate Solo. Works on anything from full-size trucks, Subarus, okay. Sprinter vans, you name it. Bolts just in a two inch hitch, locks down so there's no rocking or wobbling. Pull the pin. Swings away. Full access to the rear of your vehicle. Uh, we have it set up with our accessory plate. Uh, we're running a front runner drop down table. Uh, so when you're cooking at camp, just give you a little bit more space to work with, as well as rota packs. A little bit more than just a tire carrier. Kind of set yourself up for whatever you need. I'm Hunter from Wilco Off Road, Santa Ana, California. We make a lot of stuff. This is our tire carrier, WilcoOffRoad.com. So this thing is really cool, especially for the Toyotas, uh, because pretty much anything over the 28570 tire is not going to fit in the spare any longer so this will allow you to get a larger spare tire rotate it through and it also gives you a lot more usability uh, one of the things I really like about this is underneath you can still attach a bike rack to it and have it swing out so I thought that was a really cool innovation um, and also being able to have the plate on there so you can have roto packs you can have your high lift jack and everything on the back it's not up high on the roof rack and messing up your uh, center of gravity i think this thing is really cool and probably uh on my short list We are here at the Dometic booth and I'm with Brian and he is going to tell us a few things that's super cool about the new CFX3. So what you see here is the new CFX3 that came out uh, beginning of February. Other than the upgraded bezel and the cosmetic differences, we added a few other features. Uh, we moved our USB up to the top of it with the colored screen. The inside is a little bit bigger. What you're looking at is a 40 and it's now a 45 with the same footprint. You can now connect our CFX3 app to the fridge using our Bluetooth app. And through that app, it could tell you what the draw of the cooler is by temperature, so you could get a better understanding of how the operation of the fridge is working. And I also noticed these really nice aluminum handles. These are yes. pretty, pretty smooth. Yes. The handles are removable if you need to. Um, you can use them to strap it down, or if you wanted to, you could actually bolt the fridge to a slide because there's mounting points at the bottom as well. It's excellent. Cool, this is really good looking. Hope you guys sell a million. Thank you. Great, thank you very much. Take care. Hey, what's up guys? We are here at the Tough Stuff booth with my new buddy Brandon, and he's gonna tell us all about this awesome new rooftop tent from Tough Stuff. This is our top of the line tent. It's our alpha tent, just released about a month ago. It comes in three colors, white, gray, and black. Uh, it's hard shell. They call it a three man, but you can get two adults and two kids in there fairly comfortably. Uh, it's hard shell, comes up, I can set this thing up in seriously 30 seconds or so. Um, super comfortable, and super rigid. You can run the, your truck through a car wash, no problem. Unlike the canvas tents where you have to zip and unzip and they're a pain in the butt. It's just a fantastic tent. So tell me about the foam. I felt it. It feels like memory foam. It is like a memory foam. It's about two inches thick. Uh, it's a little bit more rigid than some, you know, some of the stuff you feel, and it feels really soft. But when you lay on it, your body goes right through it. Right. So this feels almost a little stiff, but when you're actually on it and sleeping, it feels comfortable. Uh, you know, there's there's uh, the, tent, the the foam is great. I, no complaints. I've got 25, 30 nights on the foam in in various temperatures, and it's fantastic. So the real question is, Brandon, are you a side sleeper or a back sleeper? <laughs> 
I'm a side sleeper. See? Side sleepers. It's good for side sleepers. It's hard <laughs> to find a good mattress for a side sleeper. Yeah, I'm a side sleeper. Cool. Awesome. Well, hey, thank you for your time. Hey, you're very really welcome. Thank you. Enjoy yeah. the show. All right, guys. We are at the White Knuckle Off-Road booth here with John, and he's going to tell us some really cool things about their sliders. Yep, so, uh, so the one that we have on top here is for our 5th Gen 4Runner. Uh, we build these for and without the KDSS. And uh, we, uh, we make these with an ATRU tubing, or we, you can uh, option out the uh, DOM tubing, uh, which is about 75% stronger. We've got three mounts to the frame. It makes it a little unique. We use a, a U-bolt system to attach to the frame, so there's no drilling or anything involved in that. Uh, we also have a bolt-in gusset at the rear, and uh, that way there's uh, no issue with the brake cable, parking brake cable that runs back there. Uh, we option uh, or have an option for the diamond plate and also for the dimple plate. Uh, we've got a kick out at the rear to help move the, the uh, truck away from the obstacles. Uh, we use a 188 uh, main rail tubing, and uh, it's two by three. So very stout, you can lift up the whole side of the vehicle with the slide. Uh, we also have the option of powder coat where you can take them in bare metal and uh, rattle can them. So let me ask you this, is there any mounting to the frame itself or is everything the uh, encapsulated C-clamp mounting to the frame? Uh, it mounts to the frame but with the U-bolts. Okay, perfect. Yep. And do you have any kind of issues with uh, um, movement or any kind of thing like that? Never seen that. Okay. We've awesome. been using this system for about 12 years. So Very cool. No issues. All right. Well, you guys, be sure to check out whitenuckle.com. Awesome sliders. Thank you. Cool. Thanks, John. All right. You bet. Thank Appreciate you. It. Appreciate it. What's going on, guys? We're over at the RSG booth, and this is one of the most built up fifth gen forerunners that I have ever seen. This thing has 40 inch tires, it has Magnuson supercharger, it has the solid axle swap on this thing, and so much more. But the thing that I really want to show you that I'm mostly excited about is right over here. I'm here with Jason from RSG, and we're going to show you something really cool that is brand new from yeah. RSG. Why don't you tell us about it? Uh, this is a skid plate we made for 5th generation 4Runner. Uh, it does fit GX460 as well and fits both KDSS and non-KDSS vehicles. This is a steel skid plate. What is the advantage of this skid plate versus a lot of the other skid plates out there? Um, this one's going to have more coverage up front. It also has the provisions for the ovals that match our sliders and the logo. Um, aesthetically, it's a, it's a good looking skid plate. So. Very good looking skid plate. One of the things I also like about it is the cutouts for drainage. Um, I've got an aluminum skid plate and it just traps everything in it. I've got no drainage. So I really like the openings in there to let things out. Yeah, we put a lot of time and thought into this skid plate, so I hope it works well for everybody. Yeah, awesome. You got one other thing we got to take a look at as well. Yeah, uh, KDSS skid plate. Uh, I think we're the only ones in the market with this. The factory KDSS skid plate on 4Runners is uh, flimsy. You know, it's made out of pot metal, so it's, it's not the toughest when it comes to that system, but. Um, this works really well with our sliders because we have a fourth leg on our sliders and you have to cut a little corner off of your factory skid plate uh, to install them. So this is a good option as far as uh, not having to deal with that modification. You just take your factory skid off, pull this one on. Very cool. So it's all integrated in. Yeah. So there's one more new product from RSG that we had to take a look at even though it's not for a forerunner, which Breaks my heart a little bit, but you guys do have Forerunner uh, sliders that you've had for a while. Yeah. But tell us about the new one. Uh, we recently designed a Toyota Tundra rock slider. Uh, it's got a one-piece mounting frame, six legs, and uh, it's eight feet long. So that'll be fun to ship. Uh, we'll ship them <laughs> via freight, most likely. 
but one of the other cool features that we've done on all of our sliders recently is we've added the grip hole feature, which gives you some really good traction as far as with your foot. You know, it doesn't slip and uh, grip whatever material you put on it. So, uh, yeah, mud, snow, anything like that, you'll you'll not you're not going to lose grip on those. We've been building them like that. It's an upgrade you can do. Uh, it works really well for people. It's pretty popular. Well, Jason, appreciate it, and thank you very much. Yeah, right on, man. All Thanks right. for coming back. Thanks a lot. All right, guys, we are here at the Cali Raised Off-Road booth with my buddy Jake, and he is gonna tell us all about the super sweet compressor for the Tacoma. So this is our new compressor setup that we carry. It's an OEM fit for the Toyota Tacoma. Um, what we've built here is a full compressor that bolts in under the back seat, okay? It's a single compressor, a little bit bigger than the normal singles that you use here, okay? It looks pretty OEM once it's bolted in. We'll show you that in the truck. Um, and it's designed to fill two tires at a time with a factory switch here. It comes with a wiring harness all ready to go, bolt in. And uh, let's show you the one that we've got here. Yeah, the coolest part of this compressor is the space savings and just the functionality of it. So let's go check it out in the truck. Let me show you where we hide this compressor in here. So underneath our rear seats, we open these guys up here. All your factory storage locker still works. I'll open this guy up here. We've already got this wired up, but very plain and simple. Pop it right on. <laughs> now we're gonna talk about the sweet headlights. What do you got? So we've got a couple of different series of Alpha Rex headlights here. This is the Nova series for the Tacoma. They come in a black, a flat black, a gloss black, and a chrome finish. They're quad projecting headlight, LED headlights, and uh, we have them installed here on our shop Tacoma as well. Uh, this other set that we have sitting here is a dual projecting set for a 4Runner. These start at $450. They also have a set like these with the quad projectors in them for uh, the 4Runner as well. So we do love this white accent mark here that is a daytime running light and it's an LED accent as well as on this uh, Nova series right here. The lights are really sweet. All right, let's go see it on the truck. Cool. Jake, that was super awesome. The compressor and these headlights are just super impressive. Thank you so much for showing me. No problem, man. I appreciate you coming by. Really appreciate it. It's great talking to you. So we're here at the Cali Rays booth, and I want to tell you guys about a really sweet rack the Cali Rays just came up with for the Tacoma. Now this is a, a full Prinsu style roof rack. It's all aluminum laser cut sides with the extruded aluminum crossbars. There's something super cool hiding on the front of this. Look at that. The front of the rack actually hides the light bar. Now the reason for this cover, California state law, any light above the windshield actually has to be covered. And this is their workaround to make these lights covered. Plus it really does protect the light from bug guts and mud and all kinds of other stuff. So it's a longevity thing, but it's just a super cool little thing that Cali Rays came up with to get around one, a law, and two, a longevity piece for their light systems. So good job Cali Rays, you guys are nailing it. One more thing that Cali Rays has done with this rack is incorporated side lights and rear lights to the rack. Now obviously they probably don't come with the rack, you can buy it as a full kit, but these are an accessory. It's a super cool incorporation that Cali Rays has done to make their racks stand out above the rest. What's going on guys? I'm here with Sean at the Radflow booth and 
Radflow is known for their suspension systems. However, we have a special tree. It's been around for a while, but this is my introduction to it. Sean, why don't you go ahead and tell us about it. Fantastic. This is our HydroJack. Um, it's a fantastic tool. It's a great replacement for your traditional cast iron uh, farm equipment. This is a little bit safer. Uh, it's got a 2,200 pound capacity to lift. Uh, we've got 18 inches worth of total stroke on it and uh, it weighs a mere 13 pounds. So it's really compact and strong uh, and a great alternative to your traditional high lift jack. Yeah, it's awesome. And uh, what's the price point on it? So this is $450 for our 36 inch and then uh, we make a little bit taller 48 inch as well, larger lifted trucks. All right, awesome. And uh, where can it be found? Uh, we can go to our website, www.radflow.com. All right, awesome. Well, thanks a lot, Sean. I appreciate buddy. it. Cheers. All right, guys, we are here at the SSV booth with the Switchworks Pro. My new buddy Trevor, and he's gonna tell us all about this sweet accessory switch controller. So this is our new 12 circuit accessory switcher. So we've been looking for something uh, in the marketplace. You know, our background is 13 years of uh, power sports uh, automotive integration. We're an OEM supplier. Uh, we've been doing audio and electronics for these vehicles, and we wanted to come out with something a little bit different. We've had a lot of requests for Jeep and uh, truck market integration, and that's what's kind of led us to releasing this product. So everybody has had switches and relays, and they want to be able to rewire their vehicles and have a simpler install that's more customized. And this digital LCD display, but with actual touch buttons, gives you better control of the unit, more customization, it's easier to use, and it's fully programmable. So you can set up, again, 200 amps on 12 circuits that's fully waterproof, all plug and play connections, and then through the display, we can go ahead and set up macro buttons where you can have one button control multiple functions, you can customize the images, so you upload your own images of your own Jeep, of your dog, make the colors match your, your application, right, like whatever you want. Um, move them wherever you want to, assign them, even make one button do multiple things, like turn on all the lights in an application. Um, you can even do a menu function where you press and hold and it's gonna show you real-time amperage, you know, how much each circuit is pulling at any given time. Um, and then again, you can go ahead and reconfigure it. So however you think you can use it, you can daisy chain multiple modules together and have one controller with separate pages, control 12, 24, 36, as crazy as you wanna get. This system's gonna be able to allow you to expand that and it's easily programmable through the unit. Yeah, this thing is super awesome. I, it's hard to say on camera, but every button is digital and the tactile feature of every button, it's a really good feel. Like, Thank I you. really like that. So that was a big thing when you're driving and you have a touch screen or you're wearing gloves, it's really hard to control. I mean, I can't even text without spelling letters wrong, you know? With real buttons, you get rid of all of those problems and you have great user experience, um, fully customizable and a small weatherproof package. Yeah, and it is 100% waterproof. 100% waterproof, yep. Awesome. So the brain and the controller. So it's made for our environment. It's an outdoor, it's all applications, you know, RV, truck, whatever you want to do, you're going to be able to control all your accessories, make them strobe, flash, blink, dim, you're just good to go. Awesome. And what's the price point on this feature? Uh, unit is available in summer and it will be available under 800 bucks. Awesome. Cool. And where can they find that? Uh, go to ssvworks.com and you'll see a Switchworks link in there and uh, you're good to go. Great. Awesome. awesome. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Appreciate thank you. It. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, that wraps up the first ever Four Wheeler Adventure Expo. And what'd you think? It was awesome. The rigs were great. There was stuff for everyone. There was rock climbing. The cinema was amazing. Um, it was just an all-inclusive event for, I think, the whole family. Yeah, it was really good. And this being the first show ever, I honestly think it's only gonna get bigger from here. Yeah, it was a little bit small, I will say. I think we, we, you could probably burn through this in about six hours but it was definitely very high quality, well done, and I would say next year is gonna be awesome. Yeah? Yeah. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time, and don't forget to subscribe.